Hi, my name is Joel, and today I will be comparing two short documentaries, which are Dust and Dirt and Picture Yourself. Dust and Dirt is a short documentary that tells the story of Mason Massey and his dreams of making it as a professional race car driver. He knows this will not be easy despite his 300 plus wins. Picture Yourself tells the story of Charles Clark, an aspiring Olympic runner who believes the power of visualisation will help him accomplish his goals. Both documentaries are similar in the way that they can be categorised as an expository approach to documentary filmmaking, as they use voiceovers which address the spectator directly. Although these documentaries have a very similar approach, the techniques that the directors use deliver each story in a different way. The use of slow motion in Dust and Dirt allows the spectator to really listen to the story being told by Mason. This helps to develop an emotional connection to Mason engaging the spectator in the story. Therefore, when presented with the fact that people mocked him because of his stutter, we gain a sense of sympathy for him. I've stuttered all my life, and um, I definitely have some people that make fun of me when I was younger, that mock me. Being mocked over and over will make you question, you know, why am I even here? What, what is my purpose? And, you know, I can't even talk, so why, why put me here? Picture Yourself differs to this as the director utilises the thoughts of Charles to develop the emotional connection we have with him. This is done through the use of black and white. While Charles talks about his dad not being there for him, we get shots of a man feeding a baby. This visually tells us that Charles wanted his dad there when he was younger. This introduces the performative approach to this documentary as the images shown are not actual archive footage. Along with both of these documentaries having an expository approach, another big similarity is in the editing style. Both of these documentaries have a very steady paced editing style as there is no real climax to either of these stories. Therefore, there is no reason to change the pace of the cuts. The song choice matches this as both have a very steady and soft string based piece of music. Our challenge in, in life, we all do, and you have to make it a positive thing to uh, have a good influence on people and uh, show them the, that it's possible to overcome your challenges. And your effort is what people see. Your effort is what makes people love you. They don't care about the gold. Part that everybody don't see, but this is what it takes to get there. Though. You know, you got to put in the hard work if you want to make it to the top. And I want to be remembered as someone who tried, someone who gave my best effort. Again, this gives no reason to change the pace of the editing. This gives the spectator no reason to think about what will happen next, giving more of a reason to listen to the actual story. Again, developing the emotional connection we have with the subject of these documentaries. Picture Yourself adopts aspects of another approach to documentary filmmaking. It uses techniques such as fly on the wall. This falls under the observational approach. In comparison, Picture Yourself is a much more varied documentary in relation to the approaches, as it combines elements of multiple approaches into one. Whereas Dust and Dirt mainly sticks to the expository approach. Both of these documentaries use these techniques to keep the spectator watching, engaging them while the subject tells the story. Both of these documentaries do this very well. This has been my visual essay. Thanks for watching.